they are promoting floor. But at a certain point, the floor will be used up. You know, the, the, the wine will basically eat the, eat the floor, basically. Because so why you have to refresh it, why you have a solera to keep it, keep it fresh, fresh, so that it keeps on growing. Um, but then once you fortify it, once you say, oh, I'm going to make an Montreal, I'm going to make a Olrosa, I'm committed to making an Olrosa, and you fortify the floor lines. That's Giorgio Rosso. Giorgio yeah. Rosso, you fortify it, and there's no floor. But you said on this one there is some. There is floor. Yeah, yeah but one, once Rosso it reaches, a, once well. it reaches, it starts a out first three years floor. Mm -hmm. But the, the profile, it's a, a, a profile that they want to make. They want to make a lighter, fresher Oloroso because Oloroso can be very heavy and it's cloying and rich, and they want to make an Oloroso which you can drink, you know, for pleasure as well. Whereas this one is, you know. Palo Cortano is different. And that's why I say it's a lot of decisions, but it's also about achieving consistency, uh, and it's about the blending decisions you'll make at, at certain points, you know, and then when you introduce the, obviously, the, the great, the great values. I think also once the alcohol level re reaches a particular point, then the, the, the yeast cells right. in the floor are, are killed off, aren't they? So.